Hi folks, I'm going to teach you how to use Buffer. It's a social media automation tool so you can share your posts throughout the day using Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. You can either use a free account or a paid account. So here we go. The website is BufferApp.com. So once you get here, we'll just sign in with our Twitter account. You want to give them authority. So here we go. This is going to show you that I've set up my Twitter on here. These are all of the different accounts that you can post to. In order to create an account, say I want to add my personal LinkedIn account, I just hit connect account, LinkedIn profile, Type in my password. And allow it. So now, here we go. I have all of my accounts set up. Now, in order to start posting, this is what we're going to do. You can either hit suggest a post, and they'll suggest one for you, or we'll write a post here to add to our buffer. So, we'll just write, thank you for watching, hashtag SMM4RU for the social media class at Radford University. And so now I want to select which account I want to post it to. Since I have my hashtag for Twitter, we'll just go click my Twitter profile picture. And here we go. I'm set up to post to my Twitter. Now I want to either post it now or add to my buffer. So I'm just going to add it to my buffer. There we go. Keep it up. So to see, this shows you how many posts we have in the buffer. And it shows you what time that each of them are going to post. So you can alter these times. We can just click on, click on the time Let's see, let's say these are all the times that it's going to post throughout the day. If you want to toast, post five times a day, then just click add a new time. Or you can change your time zone. You can also change the link shortening uh, website that you're going to use. I prefer Bitly because I have an account for this, so I just click Bitly. And I'm already connected, but if you want to use Buff, which is the, uh, um, it's going to be, the default is the word I'm looking for, the default. Then, but I want to keep it on Bitly, so we'll just click Bitly, and it, then it saves it automatically. You can also set this to be your default account. So by clicking this button, it'll say on, and it'll automatically post it to this account. But since I have multiples, I'm going to not make that my default. I'd rather choose. Okay, so there we go. Now, we have apps and extras. We want to be able to put Buffer on our web browser. So this is what we want to do. You go to the Install Now. I already have it installed, but this will show you. You can hit add. It'll download it for you. And then here we go. Buffer has already been has been added to Chrome. So this is the little button that you want to do. And say we want to go to the Wall Street Journal. and we find an article that we like. Here we go. Say, just say we want to post this. We like this article, but we want to add it to our buffer. So we just click this little icon right here. Click which account we want. Let's post this one to Facebook instead. Then you can also change 
any of the writing right here. And then we want to click Add to Buffer. So now we go back to our Buffer account. Oh, it took me off of it. And now it says I have one post going to Facebook. So this is how you use Buffer. You can also go to, let's go to Twitter and I can show you how to do this here. This is a Twitter account. Say I like this, this tweet right here and I want to retweet it. I just click this buffer icon right here. And there we go. Then select account, the account that I want. And it says retweet. You can add if you want to tag somebody in it. And then click add to buffer. And the icon at the top, the green bar, is going to show you how many buffers you have for each account. So here we go, one more tweet. Let's keep it up. Also, we can type in a tweet right here. Oh, apparently it can't spell. And I can click buffer right here and it'll just add it to my buffer. Oh, let's do our little hashtag. And add to buffer to confirm. There we go. That is how we're going to use buffer. If you have any questions, you can always leave me comments and I will answer them for you. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed.